going on, everyone? 2 l one 2 2 Well, I'm going to do the review of the uh, Eva Shockey's Golden Eagle by Benjamin. Nitro Piston 2. Two-stage clean brake uh, trigger, adjustable trigger. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to do a review of it. 177 caliber. So I had it, I shot it um, probably around a thousand times and I uh, put, I sighted in, well, I had to end up sighting it in five times, which I'll get to that. And uh, obviously you can see we got a new scope on there. Um, here, let me give you guys a up close view of the gun, the scope and the material I'm gonna be using, which is the pellets I use and the cleaning supplies. All right, so that's an up-close view of the gun, the trigger, the scope, and the pellets I'm using, and the cleaning supplies, which uh, this, it's a JMB non embelling bore cleaning compound. I might have messed that up. And uh, once again, I gotta thank the Air Gun Hunter. Check out his t YouTube. Um, I gotta thank him for the scope, the pellets, and the cleaning, the cleaning. He, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to get the gun as accurate as I did and use the right amount, use the right equipment. I also have another cleaning compound coming for inside to where if you, if you break this, the hole that's gonna be right there that you put in there to keep it uh, nice and lubricated and all that, it's uh, from Crossman. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll make a video on that when I get it. And, um, but yeah, so I basically, I have the whole setup now. It came with, a, this is also a center point scope, which I'll get to in a minute. And this is the one it came with. It's just a 4x32 center point scope. Also, I did use the original scope mounts. So the gun. We'll get to the gun first. If you guys are wondering what this little um, thing is on the side of the gun right here, it's a chart on how uh, to be really accurate from uh, 5 yards all the way up to 50 yards. Once again, i got to thank the Air Gun Hunter uh, for his video uh, showing me how to even do this. The gun itself, when I shot it, it was a lot more, it was the quietest gun I've shot in a while. Uh, I've had a lot of different pellet guns. I've had Crossman's, I've had Remington's, I've uh, shot Gammo's, and I'm not a real big fan, fan of Gammo. And uh, I shot a lot of different ones, and the Crossman are the best guns that I've ever owned. Uh, the pumps, CO2s, everything. But the Benjamin series, which is more the hunting brand pellet guns, are, they're wonderful. Now, I did have one little incident with uh with the gun not really the gun itself but the seal uh, that seal is going to be right in there the o-ring seal after sighting in about three times um it started peeling it started ripping well it should it, you know it shouldn't do that so i uh called up crossman and i told him about it and they were really cool about it they sent me not only they sent me a replacement for free they also sent me another replacement. So if, uh, it's real small, I don't know if you guys can see. So if this one ever goes bad, you know, I got another one, which that could have just been a defect. You know, it's just a little rubber seal, but that's, you know, really important because it keeps, it keeps when you break the barrel back, you know, after you cock it, that keeps it tight in there. So all the energy, all the force of the piston shooting out there can all get through. So um, that was the only problem I did have uh, but like I said, Crossman was really cool about it, really nice people, and, you know, sent me not only a replacement, another one. So I was really, really happy with that. And uh, the scope. The scope is a center point, uh, 4 to 16 by 40. It uh, has um, lighted, luminate, it's luminated reticle. It's uh, green and red, which uh, that's pretty neat just to have. And then it goes... Uh, it goes from what four all the way to 16 zoom and then at the end here you're gonna have your yardage 10 yards 15 20 25 40 all the way up to 100 and then infinity so I really like that too it really helps with the focus and then obviously uh, the mounts it came with were also nice I got them in here but I used uh, the ones it originally the gun originally came with they were meant for this now what I ran into before I got this scope what I ran into is I end up scratching 
the end of the barrel here. How I was doing that, I put a bush nail, bush nail scope with the original uh, mounts they have on it, and as I was shooting, I wasn't paying attention, and the gut it, it kept sliding back, sliding back, and ended up uh, scratching the back end. Well, I the re I didn't notice. I saw there was a little hole right over here. Well, the original mounts, this one right here, it has a little um, what do you want to call it? piece of metal that goes down in that hole to where not only when you tighten it down with an Allen wrench, it's really not going to move because that little piece of metal is down in that hole. I really, really, really like that feature. Now, my cousin, he has a, um, what was it? It's a Ruger pellet gun. And this has something similar to that. It has uh, like a little stopper on the end, but I really like how they made that. So if you do get another scope, which I highly recommend, I'd, um, I'd use the same mounts. I wouldn't do any, I'd use the same mounts the gun came with. And uh, the scope, I love it. It has uh, four drop points in it. And that's what, accuracy-wise, if you sight it in 20, 25 yards dead on with just the regular crosshairs, then the chart, thanks to the Air Gun Hunter, uh, the chart is wonderful. You get five yards, you use the third drop down. 10 yards, you use the second drop down. 15 yards, you use the first drop down. 20 and 25 are dead on, use the crosshairs. 30, use the first drop down. 35, second drop, 40, two and a half, drop down and uh, 45 three and it's going to be maxed out at 50 at uh, the fourth drop down 50 yards and it's i don't know how he got it dead on like that but it is it is dead on i mean you can hit this thing is now after you sight in 20 25 yards it's dead on from five yards all the way up to 50. and this gun the grouping you know that it's good with accuracy the scope may be good but a lot of pellet guns they don't get real good groupings um this pellet gun from 25 yards, I had a grouping like like the, the size of a, a dime. It, w it was unreal how good the grouping was. After I, you know, sighted in, I only had to maybe do a couple clicks to sight it in. And it, it was amazing that the grouping was just like the size of a dime. I've never had a Pelican. I've had Pelicans maybe the size of a silver dollar, um, maybe a little bit smaller, but not not like that, not like a dime. So I was, I was definitely impressed with that. Uh, the pellets I'm using, is the ultra magnum heavy 10.5 grain the dome this is um this is also by crossman and uh it, these are really good pellets uh these are one of the best pellets in my opinion act for accuracy wise now you know competition pellets are the flat nosed and then hunting pellets they have the hollow points and they also have the pointed and even though this is just a regular domed head i'd still recommend this for hunting because of how accurate it is and yeah, it's 10.5 grains. It's heavier than a normal pile. I think the uh, uh, pointed are 7.9, 7.5. You know, I may be wrong, but somewhere in that range. Uh, but yeah, these are these are really, really, really nice pellets. And um, yeah, so hunting-wise, the only thing I did get was my grandma was having a groundhog issue, and I shot that and it died. It was a, uh, I think it was 35 yards. I followed the chart and got it, no problem, obviously in the head. And uh, so I have got an animal with this gun. And uh, there was a squirrel that was uh, tearing up my gra my other grandma's bird feeder. It was just tearing it up, scaring away all the birds and everything like that. And that was like maybe 45 yards I had to shoot. And it one shot and it dropped it instantly. So I am, I am very, very proud with this gun. Um, like I said, I'm getting that cleaning stuff. I also ordered... A Benjamin sling um, because this this sling it has a sling mount so it obviously come with it the one that hangs down and the one on the back so um, a regular sling it doesn't won't fit on this I mean you can rig you can rig anything up but I ordered the Benjamin sling and I ordered that off of Pyramid Air so yeah uh, at a rate 1 through 10 I'd give this gun I'd give it a 10 out of 10 I'd, I'd give, I have no complaint. The only complaint I had was that of uh, the seal and Crossman fixed that. And it's really easy to replace by yourself. You get a toothpick or a knife and just be careful when you're going in there and go underneath the seal, it pops right out, throw it away, get the other seal, put it set on there, push it down with your thumb, make sure to get around the edges and you're good to go. And um, yeah, so I have, I have no complaints with the gun. Uh, no complaints with anything. Um, the only thing, if you guys do get this scope, I do want to say, I don't know if any other people, if you guys have this scope, had this problem. 
when I was sighting it in, the reason I had to sight it in five, six times is because this problem right here. All right, so this is obviously where you sight it in at. I love these things. It's Instead of having to get a flathead screwdriver, you can just get this, turn it, and it do it real fast. You don't have to worry about trying to find a screwdriver or anything like that. As you can see, the top here, that's left and right, this is up and down, it's out. And it is right there. The problem that I had, when I can screw this one on completely fine, and I have no problem with the cap. The problem was, when I was tightening, the, and I make sure it's tight, so I don't have to worry about it falling off or anything like that. Well, when I was doing the top one, it, uh, it would end up turning this it tightened down so far that while I'm tightening it down and end up turning it get caught on this somehow and it turn it with it but that's why I six times it took me to figure out that oh there's little screws in there so I just got a real small screwdriver and took the top out and now I can tighten down fully uh, with the caps so that's what I would recommend I don't know if it's because it is so high I had the put it up so high that this thing's popping out and then this was just getting caught on it. I don't know if that's what happened or you know what happened, but it was real, it was a simple fix. I mean, yeah, if I ever need to sight this back in again, I'm gonna have to screw that back on and sight it in again. But it wasn't, that was the only problem I had with the scope. I love the scope, but I was really kind of weird about that because you know, it really shouldn't do that. You should be able to put this thing as high as it goes and the cap should still be able to go on. So that was the only complaint I had, but it's an easy fix. It's nothing like to where I'm going to send it back or I would never buy again or anything like that. It's just a real simple fix. So like I said, 10 out of 10 on this gun. Um, it's, it's the gun. It's heavy. I will say that a lot. I don't know if some people might ask. It is a heavy gun. I'll say that. It's, it's definitely one of the heavier guns, but that's why they put sling mounts on it. So all you got to do is get a sling fort and go out hunting. I can't... Um, way to go squirrel hunting with this and then uh like i said a frog hunting video will be coming up soon with this um but yeah i don't i mean yeah it's a little bit heavy but it's nothing major and qu noise wise uh this like i said is one of the quietest gun i shot it's obviously louder if you have like a little daisy bb gun just a regular level action like the red riders and the bucks stuff like that it's obviously louder than that but um i mean my cousin has an airsoft gun that's louder than this thing so this, this, for a pellet gun, for um, 1,400 feet per second with alloy pellets and like 1,150, I think it is, with lead pellets, and to be, to go that far and um, to be this good of a pellet gun with the nitro piston and everything like that, this is a very quiet gun for hunting. I mean, you're not going to get any quieter than this for hunting. So, um, yeah, 10 out of 10 on the rate, and I'm just, I'm really happy with the gun. I'm really happy how Crossman helped me out when the seal went bad. I'm happy with everything. So I'd recommend if you're gonna buy a pellet gun if for your first timer, I'd get I'd get a Crossman. You're gonna buy one for hunting, I'd get a Crossman. It Crossmans are in the Benjamins are the ones I'd go to for the hunting. So um, yeah, so I give this gun a 10 out of 10. And I'll have some hunting videos coming up soon with this. So hope you guys enjoy. And as always, please subscribe to TY1 to D2.